Hello party people! Welcome to my May favorites. That was a really weird intro. I don't know why I did it, but basically May was a giant party. Um, there were graduations, my birthday, my mom's birthday, Mother's Day. That's a party because we all love our moms. And I know it's June, and I know I'm late on this, but better late than never, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So I wanted to share a few of the things that I was loving this month and probably will love all of June and July and August. I can't even believe it's June. I realized that it was June on like June 3rd. I still thought it was May. So here we go. My first favorite is this perfume. It's Times Perfume in Aqua Coraline and it's this really pretty blue color which kind of makes me like it even more. Light Tiffany Blue is like my favorite color so when a perfume comes in a blue instead of that kind of ugly yellow color I automatically like it but this smells like summer. It comes in a candle and I'm probably gonna buy the candle next but if you've ever smelled candles that are like rain or water or ocean scent that's basically what this smells like. It's really clean um, it's not too sweet, it's not too floral, so it's a really good like throw on and go perfume. Um, it's not something that you walk past people and they can like smell your perfume. I don't like perfumes like that. I like things that are a little more subtle uh, and this is really one of my favorites. I bought it last summer and recently rediscovered it and I have been wearing this one all the time. It's beautiful. I highly recommend this one. And for perfume, it's really not that expensive, which is a huge bonus. So my next favorite was a birthday present, and it is this pair of shoes. Yes, I only have one. Um, the other one is probably still in my gym bag. So I always run in ASICs. Um, I haven't always run in ASICs. I was training for a few 5Ks last fall and I was running in a variety of different tennis shoes and I got a stress fracture in my left foot and it hurt so bad and I ran my 5K anyway which probably wasn't the best decision and then I ran a four mile run with my mom on Thanksgiving and I had to keep walking which really ruined my time and it was a little disappointing. My mom is an avid runner so I felt like I was holding her back. Um, but my foot just hurt too bad and she told me that I needed to stop running in those tennis shoes because she had the same problem and she switched to ASICs and the problem went away and we have very similar feet. I have very narrow feet and I have a very high arch. So I switched over to a pair of ASICs. So I let my stress fracture get better and then I started running again and I ran my ASICs and I didn't have any problems which was a blessing. So I was holding out to my birthday so I could ask for a pair of these from my parents and my mom took me to her favorite running shoe store while I was in San Antonio with her over Memorial Day weekend and I got these ones. I am actually in love with the color. They're like a bright cobalt blue and they have the pink and my favorite color this like blue mint green as the accents. This is the gel Nimbus. Um, it has like this gel layer and so it cushions your foot when you pound it on the concrete or on the asphalt or the trail or the treadmill or whatever whatever you like to run on. I don't judge, except sand. I hate running on sand. Um, I stepped into this shoe and it's funny because when you're running you gradually wear your shoes out and so you don't really realize how worn out they are until you step into a new pair. This was like stepping onto a cloud. It was gorgeous. I am so excited because I've worn these to uh, basketball practice. I'm on a co-ed basketball team. I wear these to work out with my trainer, Matt. We have videos, by the way, so check those out. They'll be linked in the down bar. Um, I wear these to run around the block in. I wear these to run errands in. They are wonderful. And I know all of you CrossFitters out there, I did CrossFit for a while too, and a lot of other athletes um, are kind of turning against the really cushiony heel on a tennis shoe and going for a, a more flat, more natural shoe. Um, I've run in those before, I've run in the toe shoes before, um, but this is the one that works best for me, so I know there's probably going to be a lot of haters out there that are like, you shouldn't be recommending this shoe to run in, it's so bad for your body. Um, but I think running is a very personal thing, you need to find the shoe that works best for your feet, for your knees, and for your hips, because the way your stride works and the way um, your foot falls all really depends on you. So try out a few different shoes until you find the one you like, find the one that doesn't give you a lot of pain, and that is the shoe that you should pick. Not the ones that are 
uh, not the ones that are fashionable, not the ones that everyone's telling you to buy. Buy the ones that make your feet feel good while you're running. So my favorite read this month was The Girl on the Train. I recently wrote a book review about this on my blog, so that'll also be linked in the down bar. But this book was one of my favorite books that I've read in a really, really long time. Uh, it's a murder mystery thriller with a lot of psychology thrown in. Um, there are three narrators, and what I like about this book is that you hate and love each one of the characters in their own right. I never really found a character that I was like rooting for because the way it's written there's so many time jumps and there's so many backstories that you really have to read the whole thing to figure out the entire character. And I thought that was really, really cool. This book captivated me. I finished it in five days. It was a birthday present. I got it on Memorial Day weekend and I finished it before the first of June. I read this book all the time. It was really all I wanted to do, but Pro tip, pay attention to the chapter headings because they're dates and so each narrator has their own chapters and each one is dated at the top. Some storylines start in the past and some start in the present and you just have to make sure that you know what's going on because there were a few times where I didn't pay attention and then I had to go back and check the dates and that made the whole story make so much more sense. And uh, I really, I really recommend this book. It was a New York Times bestseller. A lot of the times I'm not a fan of bestsellers. I always buy them and read them because I'm nosy and I don't want to miss out on something. But this one deserves the hype. Usually those books just get overhyped and then I read it and it falls short of how wonderful and amazing I heard it was. This one is the exact opposite. It really is one of my new favorites. So I really highly, highly recommend going and downloading a copy or getting it from the library or if you're a book snob like me buying the hardback because there's just something so satisfying about a hardback book. My snack favorite this month is more a tea than a snack. Actually it is a tea, it's not a snack, but you could drink it as a snack in the afternoon. This is the Mighty Leaf Green Tea Tropical and I got this at a bakery not too long ago and it has been my obsession. It's actually right here in my little giraffe cup. It's so fresh, it's so summery, it is the perfect afternoon drink. I prefer this tea iced, um, so if you're going to make iced tea with this, make sure that you let it steep for a really, really long time and that it gets really, really strong because you're going to add in the ice cubes and they're going to melt and then it might be a little watered down. I get it at Model Bakery in Napa and they usually uh, steep two tea bags in one cup and then put the ice in so that it gets really, really strong. However, I am cheap and this box only has 15 tea bags, which means I would only get seven glasses of tea if I did that. So I just steep it for twice as long as I would normal tea until it gets to be a really dark color and then I put it over ice. Don't get me wrong, this tea is also really good hot, but I just prefer iced tea, especially in May, especially when it's starting to get hot. Um, so this is my new summer drink. I talked about it in a outfit post not too long ago, so I really, really recommend it. It's so good. Yum. So my last favorite this month is a thing that has saved my life all month long and that is the reusable to-go cup. Obviously I have my giraffe one here and then I found this really cute pineapple one at HEB when I was in Texas. Um, so this is going to be my new pool cup. I put cranberry juice in this when I was home for this uh, over Memorial Day weekend and it was so good. I forgot how much I liked cranberry juice. So I put cranberry juice like to here, and then I filled the rest up with water to kind of dilute it down. But this is going to be so much fun at the pool. Plus, I'm totally jumping on the pineapple bandwagon. They're cute on shirts, and I've seen them on shoes, and they're adorable. So I'm a bandwagon fan, I admit it, and I'm totally, totally, totally okay with it because they're really cute. Oh, I also have bigger versions. Obviously, this is like a venti Starbucks cup. I also have a lot of these that are the Starbucks version and I like those a lot. So just make sure when you're using the dishwasher that you put the straws on the top because they'll melt and uh, this one's not but a lot of mine are like curved now because they like melted and got funky. So don't do that because then you'll be sad when you unload your dishwasher like I was. 
So if you liked my May favorites, please let me know in the comments section, like this video, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. And if you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button. I would love it. It would make me feel so great. So don't forget to go out and spread some sunlight to someone you love today. And I will see you guys next time. Love you bunches. Bye.